Hello everybody. I've been modding a few games in the last weeks, most notably I think uh, thanks to Bevilex. He released something very important to the community, which is his uh, mod list for Oblivion, which focuses mainly on graphics. I did this, and it was my introduction to Vrybash, um, which turned out to be a wonderful program with many unique features that is especially well done for Oblivion. And this, uh, together with Boss, make a wonderful duo. And it let me uh, utilize uh, 200 mods in Oblivion uh, with no crashes, full stability and very nice and consistent uh, performance. I already released a few short videos covering uh, some of the m more difficult parts of the tutorial. However, um, I decided to do a full tutorial, a full video tutorial on uh, Bevilex uh, mod list, because I think I have now enough experience with this guide and with uh, Vrybesh to present it to you um, in a way that will be accessible for more people. To make uh, modding uh, this beautiful game and the game itself uh, more popular even after all these 11 years since its initial release. So let's get to it. This uh, tutorial will be divided in 10 or 15 parts. I will see how the situation develops. Uh, let's start from the beginning. So, um, what we need to start modding Oblivion? A working vanilla game. You can watch this video by Gamer Poets about uh, the installation and setting of uh, Oblivion. So what you will basically need is a clean install of Oblivion. So either if uh, Oblivion is not yet installed, please uh, install Oblivion not in your C program files, that's very important, but somewhere else on another drive or on drive C backslash uh, Steam games, Steam apps. You need to configure your Steam installer not so that the game doesn't uh, get installed in program files because this will cause problems with many mods permissioning problems. Um, if you already have a Oblivion installation like I do you may want to check that it's um, vanilla so one way to do it is to delete all the game files in Steam Apps Common Oblivion and then run Steam library, go to your Oblivion, right click on it, go to Properties, Local Files, and verify integrity of game files. When you click it, the integrity of your game files will be verified. And if you did not mess anything else with uh, Oblivion, the game will be vanilla again. One more uh, thing you need to check is the documents folder. There you have something like My Games and this is the place where all your inis and uh, save files of your Bethesda games are placed. So, uh, if there is an Oblivion folder here, you might want to delete it because a new one will be created now. As we run Oblivion now, just one time, just here from the Steam, to for this folder and the inis to be created. So let's do it. So let's start the game by clicking play in Steam. This pop-up message will appear about video, um, video card, 
adjustment, just click OK. Go to options, take ultra high, anti aliasing for none, and that should do. Now you can press play to play the game. All the registry entries have been created. Let's start a new game. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years. Okay, just some generic character creation. Save the game one time, go to options, gameplay, and let's make some order here. Save on rest, all the autosave options off, crosshair I don't like, dialogue subtitles, that's fine. Video. Max them all out. Shadows off. This will come from the ENB. Looks fine. Okay. Let's make one more manual save and quit the game. So, uh, here is the hardware. Basically, you don't need a NASA computer to uh, run this game even with uh, many, many mods uh, because the engine has its limitations and uh, um, Following this recommended hardware configuration here by Bevilex, uh, you will be more than fine to run this with a consistent performance. Um, then we need uh, the tools that are listed here. First of all, Vrybash. Open up this page. Um, it says for manual installation, uh, go to the files and take the Vrybash standalone executable. Okay, files, main files, standalone executable. When you click download here, it will download. Um, I have it here. Inside the archive, you find the folder Moppy. What we will do is copy Moppy to your Oblivion main directory. So Steam apps come on Oblivion. We're done. We have Rybush here. Next you go inside Moppy and here is the Rybush executable. Right click, send to desktop. I renamed mine already. It's called Test for Vry, and it's here. Next up in our list is uh, OBMM. We did Vrybash. Now let's go to OBMM. Let's open up the page and download the full installer. All right, go to files, full installer, download it manually. Let's go, let's save it to my essentials. All right, full installer is here. Let's uh, extract it to my essentials. 
and I shall have OVMM setup here. Let's start the setup. Click next, agree to the general public license. It found my Oblivion installation in the cor correct folder. If your w will not, then browse to the Oblivion folder, but it should find it automatically. Click next. Don't create a start menu folder. I don't need it. You can create it. Desktop launch icon, I have it already. Don't associate with anything. And install. Okay, don't launch it yet. Just check in my Oblivion folder is here. And it, it's working. Okay. So that's it for OBMM. And that's it for this part. Thank you for watching and see you in part 2 of the tutorial.